This tutorial describes two-dimensional plane continuum, and their three-dimensional counterpart solid continuum elements, which are similar in all aspects, except for the additional third dimension, along the z-axis. For the solver to not treat plane continuum elements, as shells, the analysis type must be selected as two-dimensional. Plane continuum elements must be modeled only in the XY plane. The thickness associated with all plane continuum elements, is defined in the geometric tab of its material properties. This thickness can be displayed by using the Show Surfaces tool button. Plane element shapes are triangle, and quadrilateral. Their three-dimensional solid element counterpart shapes are, the tetrahedron, and the hexahedron. Additionally, there are pyramid, and wedge solid element shapes too. Elements that have a mid-side node are quadratic elements, and results converge faster than their linear counterparts, that don't have the mid-side node. The nodes in static, modal vibration, dynamic response, modal response and buckling analysis, can move only along the X and Y axes. Or in the case of solid elements, the Z axis as well. In thermal analysis, the nodes of plane and solid elements, represent temperature. In fluid analysis, the nodes of plane and solid elements, represent velocity potential, in potential flow problems. In Navier-Stokes models, the nodes represent velocity and pressure. For non-Newtonian fluids they represent velocity. In magnetostatic analysis, the nodes of plane elements, represent magnetic vector potential. In electrostatic analysis, the nodes of plane and solid elements, represent voltage. In DC current analysis, the nodes of solid elements, represent voltage. This ends the tutorial on plane and solid continuum elements. Please view the tutorials on the other element types, that are available in LISA.